Is that good, Eddie? Hi, I'm James Turing. As Alan Turing's great nephew, I'm in a unique position to be able to help bring Alan's legacy to those who can benefit the most from it. As I'm sure lots of people know, Alan Turing is very famous for having been one of the, if you like, the grandfathers of the modern computer. But there are some things that he's less well known for. One thing, for example, just um, as the Second World War was about to break out, he looked after uh, Jewish refugee and he sponsored this child through school in the UK uh, and they stayed in touch um, for the rest of Alan's life and I think that's I think that's really important message for the Turing Trust. In 2009 I started the Turing Trust with my family in honour of Alan's legacy bringing computers to schools in sub-Saharan Africa where they can make the most of these reused technologies. What we try to do is put computers into classrooms in rural areas in Africa so that people will have equal opportunities for learning how to use a computer. So let everything become simple. Yeah. Easy. It has made the teaching and learning easy for us. It does have to do internet and search for ways that are not understandable. When the students get access to it, it helps them in studies. Okay. And it also uh, upgrades their knowledge in terms of uh, using IT. The operation has grown from James and I just wiping a few computers at home uh, and sending them in a part load in a container to Ghana to now having sent three full container loads to Ghana during 2015. The machines are checked for specification and securely wiped uh, and then restored by our volunteers back to Factory condition. One of the most unique and useful things that the Turing Trust does is it installs this awesome software package onto all the computers that we send out. Two of the main tools include Wikipedia and Khan Academy, but there's a lot more on there and you can find out about it on the website. Everything that's installed is offline. This is really useful to the communities we work with because the internet is expensive or not available. We're also dedicated to the empowerment of girls and this means ensuring that they are included in our IT classes and especially our major IT trainings. However, we also give them the opportunities that are more specific to their interests. So if they're catering students, they might go into one of our catering stores after school and earn themselves some money and understand what it's like to run a business. What did you do? Fashion and design. Nice. Did you make this? Yes. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! We at the Turing Trust have an all-encompassing attitude to development, which means that we help each individual on a case-by-case -case basis. It's for that reason that the range of activities we cover are huge, that's why we supply teacher training, and that's why we support school infrastructure when it's necessary. As African economies speed into the information age, rural communities are often left behind and become increasingly isolated from the digital world. We aim to solve this problem by bringing computers into rural classrooms so that people can have an equal opportunity to learn how to use a computer.